opportunity. 1.4 million STEM-related job openings are expected in the U.S. by 2020. So why not get started now? The Community Foundation for Greater Buffalo created Communities of Giving Legacy Initiative. And through that process, the program Success Looks Like Me was created as one of a few signature programs of the Communities of Giving Legacy Initiative. The Success Looks Like Me Role Model Initiative has teamed up with General Motors Tonawanda Engine Plant to connect female Buffalo Public School students to the possibilities of science, technology, engineering, and math, or as many refer to it, STEM careers. The Success Looks Like Me Role Model Project provides students with the opportunity to meet and hear professionals of color talk about their path to success. This is what Success Looks Like Me is all about. It's providing access to people, places, and experiences so students can dream. They can see the options that they can aspire to. Not only does the Success Looks Like Me STEM trips to General Motors headquarters encourage a look at STEM careers in the manufacturing industry, it also opens up the girls' eyes to entrepreneurship and tech career options. It's all about girl power. From the bus driver, to the tour guides, to the multiple panel discussions, they were all female executives, engineers, and it ended with the Women of Color STEM Conference. The empowering trip began with a tour of the impressive GM headquarters, followed by an up-close tour of the OnStar Command Center, where GM has aligned their people and technology to become the world leader in vehicle safety. We went to OnStar, that was amazing, because you would never think that technology revolves around everything, especially in cars. This tour was followed by a trip to the General Motors Climatic Wind Tunnel, a state-of-the-art facility where the students got a chance to see how Chevrolet, Cadillac, Buick, and GMC engineers take vehicle development and validation testing to the extremes. We met a lot of different people, a lot of different places we went to. Um, we learned what their professions were, how they got there, what they experienced. The young lady's first day concluded with a networking dinner with GM female executives, including the GM Women Affinity Group president, Charlie Gandy. That's an inspiration. It let me know that, that uh, no matter what background you are, you can always do whatever you want to do, and you can always be successful. Day two was a test of the young lady's dedication and excitement to embrace this learning opportunity because the day began at 5.30 a.m. in order to attend a 7.30 a.m. GM Women in Manufacturing Leadership Conference. The excitement was contagious as many of the girls experienced their first all-female conference. Their morning wake-up was an inspiring and energetic presentation by a Latina entrepreneur and motivational speaker, Peguin Echeviera, who told the girls they were gems and should embrace the gems message. Great engaged women manifest success. Day two also included a discussion with representatives from Detroit's Next Energy and Tech Town. The pinnacle experience of day two was the exclusive tour of the GM Design Center, hosted by Crystal Windham, GM Director of Design, Global Chevrolet, and Angela Hatter, Director of Design Center Operations. The young ladies were welcomed by these two executives who provided an engaging overview of the Design Center and their journey to success. The presentation and Q&A session was followed by an interactive tour of the Design Center where they met and learned from talented female GM team members who have all made important contributions to the creation of auto designs in the GMC, Buick, Cadillac, and Chevrolet vehicles on the road today. I fell in love with the Design Center. Like, that was a place I, I just, just see myself working at, like, coming up with these different ideas and sketches and putting these piece, cross stitches and things together. General Motors truly believes in giving back to the communities where our employees work and live. And I tell you, this is Tonawanda Engine's second year of teaming up with the Communities of Giving Legacy Initiative, Success Looks Like Me and what a great journey it has been. Through this partnership, we were able to offer students from the Buffalo community a three-day, two-night, unique experience that focused on all things STEM. 
I truly believe our ultimate goal of providing students with opportunities to interact with successful adults of various ethnic and culture backgrounds, to feature STEM careers within General Motors, but to me, the most important and ultimate goal of inspiring the students to dream big was when I saw one of the students, Selena, actually drawing an outline of a vehicle as we left the design center. Now, that's daring the dream. The day ended up with an up-close view of the real world of modern TV news production. Emmy award-winning anchor Carolyn Clifford hosted the students, interviewed them for a news story, and provided a tour of the Detroit ABC we studio. Did the, tour, the Detroit Channel 7, it was amazing. Like all the rooms that they had in the news station, it was amazing. The girls witnessed a little Buffalo pride when they visited and toured the GM Orion Assembly Center, where the Chevy Sonic and Buick Verano are built. Buffalo native Joya Shepard, personnel director, hosted the experience in an all-female discussion panel. As guests of General Motors, the young ladies enjoyed lunch, networking, and an empowering program at the STEM Women of Color Conference that recognized various women's achievements in STEM careers, as well as youth who are striving to become STEM professionals and entrepreneurs. The STEM Women of Color Conference brings females together to celebrate the STEM industry. We thank Ms. Vivian R. Picard, past president of the GM Foundation and newly appointed director of Detroit, community partnerships, as well as Ken Barrett, global chief diversity officer for taking time to meet us at the conference. This was a great example of success and possibilities that exist in GM. This program is valuable to Buffalo Public Schools because it allows young people to see that they are the future. This experience cannot happen without a collaboration of people and organizations that care. The Communities of Giving Legacy Initiative thank our partners, the Community Foundation for Greater Buffalo, W. Charles Brandy, representing the Buffalo Public Schools, Nina Price and Steve Finch, representing the General Motors Tonawanda Engine Plant, and the GM Foundation. We now know STEM is a girl thing, and success looks like me a woman out doing everything that they want to do, everything that a man can do, and then turn around and actually loving it and like embracing it. I just like how they get embraced and they actually love their job and that they're, they love it so much that they're willing to tell other people that you can do it. And it's good to explore different opportunities because if we don't explore, we don't know what's out there for us. So that was a great part and I really appreciated the opportunity to show my minority standardship and to just be around people that are different. It kind of gave a lot of power, I guess you can say. A lot of influence. That was something positive about the trip too. Like it not only taught about uh, a career choice, but it also helped to build character at the same time. Definitely this trip enlightened my, it motivated me and it made me uplift and give me possibilities of what I could be in the future. It's not where you've been, it's where you're going.